Retain gang, what's poppin', man? It's your boy Tay. Back at y'all with another video. Hey, fellas. Ain't nothing wrong with being righteous. Right? There's nothing wrong with being a righteous man. You know, there's so much wrong in this world that it's becoming harder and harder for us to stay on a righteous path. For us to do what's right. For us to live. Right? We have to make sure that you know, we're really getting in tune with ourselves so that we're not being lived backwards, which is evil. You know, live. You want to live doing things that promote life. Right? Retaining your seed. If you're constantly releasing your seed, that's considered evil because you're killing yourself. You're malnourished. Right? That's the opposite of living. Living is when you're holding on so you have life inside of you. You know, and it and it shoots out your pores. It, it, sh it shows in your aura, right? You eating bullshit food. You know, you're killing yourself. It's evil. When you eat fruits and veggies and things that nourish your body, you're putting life in your body. You're living, right? We gotta stop living backwards, guys. Right? We gotta start doing things that's gonna propel us forward. That's gonna promote life. Now, I'm not saying we're all going to be perfect. If you read the, the laws of Mayat, you want to make sure that your good outweighs the bad. Right? You want to have that balance, the scale. So that when the scale is tipped, your good is outweighing all the bullshit. Right? So you want to do your best, the best that you possibly can to be righteous. To promote life. To do things that are going to make you better. In this journey, okay? We have to, guys. You know, we have to be the example, man, because the youth coming up, we have to be the example for them. They watch us. You know, the kids, man, coming up, it's about them. Because if we're putting out bullshit seeds, you know, those kids are gonna, they're going to watch what we do and, and mimic that. Right? And so now we failed as as our generation, we failed. We have to make sure that we we are setting an example for the youth. You know, being righteous. That way they have something to look up to. Right? There's so much wrong out here, there's so much evil out here, man, that it's becoming hard. The youth are they're confused because they don't know who to look up to. You know, all the bullshit is being pushed forward and all the good is being pushed back. You know, we're living backwards, right? Somebody has to be righteous. Somebody has to be the example to the youth coming up so that they can live a righteous path as well, you know, and they can continue that cycle, right? We all can't be out here living foul, man, you know? And that's why, you know, I take it upon myself to try to do my best to put out good seeds, to try to help people become their best version, to, to try to help people to really, you know, be righteous, man. You feel me? You know, I got little brothers. I got little cousins who watch me as well. So I make sure that I'm planting good seeds, you know, and that I'm leading by example. Not just talking, but I do the things in my daily life. I walk the walk, right? So you want to make sure you, got, you guys are doing that too because you don't know who you have looking up to you. You know, you might have younger cousins or younger brothers or siblings or whatever who look up to you, man, or just maybe kids in general that look up to you, people that look up to you, right? So the things that you do, man, you you influence them. You're influencing someone else. You, you know, you have to be mindful of what the energy you put out there, man. You know, if you're putting out bad seeds and someone mimics that, man, you're at fault just as well, right? That's why we have to be, be very cautious of the seeds that we plant out here, you know? So guys, you know, ask questions, man. You know, speak to the most high. When you're sitting by yourself, you know, close your eyes, monitor your thoughts, focus on your thoughts and start to put out questions into the universe. You know, what is my purpose? You know, I want answers. How can I stay on a righteous path? You know, ask these questions, man. If you ask, you shall receive. Right. And then you'll notice things start to play out in your life. Situations or people or even a song or a TV show, you might hear something in that that resonates with you that that's going to answer your question. Right. Because the most high, the universe it doesn't speak to you with language. You know, it speaks with energy. 
So it'll use things around you to give you your answer. You just have to pay attention. That's why in my last video I said you have to become present, man. Because when you become present, you start to really see what's going on. You start to see the signs. If you're just on autopilot, man, you're gonna miss these signs, right? So you have to pay attention, but you have to ask too, right? You gotta put the work in. But you wanna be on this path of righteousness, man. This is how you're gonna bring that light up. You know, you have this energy, but you wanna make sure that energy is being transmuted into something that's positive, right? Because like I said, when you're holding on, you're like a magnet, you attract things to you. But you have to make sure that your energy is attracting the right energy, the energy that you want in your life, okay? So guys, don't be afraid to be righteous, man. Don't be afraid to do the right things. Don't try to fit in with people, man. When you're on this journey, you're gonna be forced to be isolated. You're gonna be forced to be alone because you're starting to get away from the pack. You're starting to be an individual, right? So you're gonna notice that people are gonna drop out of your life, but it's for a reason because they're not good for you. They're not on your path. That's your rites of passage of being alone, learning how to survive on your own, you know, finding your purpose, finding your, your moral ground that you stand on, something that you would die by, right? That's what it's all about, man. You gotta have some type of conviction of what you want in life and what kind of belief system that you have. And you follow through with it, right? We gotta stop living backwards, guys. Our diet, stop killing yourself with your diet. Your body is not a trash can. You know, you wanna give your body life. Respect yourself. You know, respect your seed. Don't just be out here busting all over the place, man. Respect yourself. Stop killing yourself. You know, certain music, certain... And I'm not saying sometimes it isn't good, you know, because it is balanced. But you want to make sure that your good outweighs the bad, okay? Start doing things that promote life. Start working out. You know, you can't be weak out here. You got to be strong-minded. You have to have a warrior mentality, okay? But hey, fellas... Stay on this path, stay on this journey, stay strong. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you guys. The guys in the comment section that's starting this journey or that's been on this journey for a while, man. Hey, keep going, man. It motivates me, you know, to stay strong because I'm I'm on this journey just like you guys. I get weak moments too, but you know, I, you guys motivate me to stay strong and we, we bounce that energy back and forth, okay? So, hey, man, this your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comment section what y'all want me to talk about next. Hey, y'all have a beautiful day. I'm out. Peace.